So until it gets built, I don't know what version I got. It was 20,000 gold. And I noticed before I left the city hall that it was 30,000 if you want or have to buy another one. So if you want to go ahead and get another one on the same character, it'll be 30,000. Jay says not four different courtyards, four different configurations. You change it when it's fully developed. How do you know that, Jay Green? Huh? Huh? How do you know that, ghost? You're just smarter than the average ghost. Anyway, I've got over two and a half hours to wait for this thing because I think I was the last person left on planet Earth that finally got my download and could get back on the game. <laughs> I kept checking Discord and everybody was getting in the game except me. I was so sad, but I do live way out in the country. So uh, my internet isn't always reliable and it's a little bit slower than some people's internet. So anyway, I just got in not that long ago. It's only been maybe an, an hour um, or less. And the first thing I did was go get my courtyard. So anyway so since there's about what 10 or 12 flowers here in the um bahari side of the map i'm kind of assuming that means most every bug would be in contention for the killing, the bombing, the bombing of the bugs. However, some of them, like stink bugs, we have those, you know, over in Kilima. So I'm not sure about those. Well, it didn't give me a flower anyway, but like if it's a spotted stink bug and we already have those over in Kilima, I doubt if it gives you a different flower, you know. So I'm going to assume if it's a cricket or a spotted stink bug or any of those ones that we already have, it may be the same flower, which means we have to find the other kinds of things like the brown, oh, those little brown furry ones. And now I guess everybody is saying that today when they first turned on their game, every light is off on their plot. I don't have that many lights, 20 or 30 lights. It's not a big deal for me. Some people have two or 300 lights on their plot. So they're going around turning their lights on. So um, as far as my floating lights that I did not put there, the ones that just appeared on their own, I have tried to take them down and put them away. They will not. Uh, um, okay, so Joyce, how do I move my fences on my plot? Still a newbie. Oh, Joyce, be a newbie. We love newbies. We love newbies. We love lurkers. We love all the kinds of players. <laughs> no, so yeah, um, okay. Fences. You're just going to um, actually go up to your fence and um, pick it up and it'll go into your bag and then you can move it. Now, it's possible that you might be able to just um, hit control, which will turn on your furniture moving grid and you might be able to pick up your fence and just move the whole thing at once. But it doesn't really like to do that sometimes, especially if you don't already own the whole thing. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so your fence might be along the entire back of the plot that you have been given. And say there's 10 different writs that you would need to buy the whole next row, and you've only bought two of them or three of them, then you can't move the entire fence. You can only move part of the fence, if you see what I'm saying. So that's why you just want to pick it up and move it more than likely. Um, I hope that helps a little bit. If not, um, somebody else on here will help you too. And for everybody who is out there and they're getting the three hit deer and they only have to shoot them once, again, I have to say you're welcome. <laughs> because my deer are running around. Hi, Ryan. Ryan is popping in because I think he's at work. <laughs> so I know I'm supposed to be working, but I'm cheating. Because it's also... There, I got a paper lantern bug finally. I've hit like five or six of them, but they were not dying because the game was cutting in and out, I assume. Oh my gosh. I think I hit the wrong deer, but somebody helped out. Thank you. Thank you. Say, I went out the back door and came straight to Bihari because I knew I was going to have to try to kill Bihari bugs, but I, well, that one finally died. Okay, what did we get? Bihari nettle flower. Okay, so the Bihari bug gave me a Bihari nettle flower. And Ella Sweet says, I'm freezing. I'm so sorry. Um, 
MJ, a honey lure would be a grand idea. Okay, so I've got four honey lures. So I'll just bring those along. And I might bring a buzzy jar in case we have to try to get any of those really rare bugs. You paper lantern bug. Wow, finally a crab. I was like, I am not going to find a crab on the entire ocean at this rate. I got one. A blue bell. Yay. Okay, anonymous. I, I have an anonymous person saying, very new to your channel and first time catching you live. Didn't catch the beginning of the conversation, but I hope you get better and feel better soon. Sending good vibes out to everyone. Ah, oh, thank you, anonymous. I know. Good vibes out to everything. Every, every, you just send it out into the universe. Just beaming happy good vibes out into the universe for everybody because everybody needs it. Everybody has something. I'm still just looking for the flotsam. Oh, there it is. Pulse water. Okay, I'm going to go up there in just a sec because I've got four honey lures. Nope, I got 10 heartwood, but that's better than five rocks. The green plushie, the green plushie will drop in the flotsam pile. Most of the community still call it the Bahari pile rummage, even though it has a proper name. They said it would drop in Bahari, its home origin. Well, that makes perfect sense. That's just not what it said in the patch notes. But the patch notes, I, I thought the patch notes didn't sound right when they said random choppa piles, because see, in Bahari, there are choppa piles um, on top of some of the buttes and stuff. And you use them on the quest for, um, for Hashian when you have to go find his like poems. So he wrote like, did you guys do that quest? He wrote poetry and the choppas ran off with it. And it's hidden in these little choppa piles that are like on top of the hills and stuff. Um, but only in Bahari. I don't, this, this is usually a good place to do a bug lore, but there's no peoples. Uh-oh, I didn't. So that means um, I just didn't get it because, no, because I'm recording. So I would have, so if I, if I accept it, then it'll cut me, it'll cut me off. So I have to like, do you? Um, Let's see. So I'm looking. Okay, Tessa, I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if you're playing, but I'm going ahead and asking you anyway. <laughs> if you want a server sync, you can. I No, I figured ev I figured everybody was probably at their plot doing their courtyard, you know. That's the one thing that I have asked for since closed beta. I've been asking for a cash register. Just put one Zeki cash register in Bahari. What would be the harm? I mean, I don't see how that could break the game. But, so, but they're allergic to the idea. They don't like it. They are not going to do it. Because <laughs> I know so many people have said, can we please have a cash register in Bahari? So it must be something. There must be something that, that it doesn't do well with. I went ahead and picked up all the bugs just in case because you aren't going to get a flower if you don't pick it up, right? Okay, so the outfits that are like that, um, the ones that have like a special effect or a movement or sparkly lights or whatever, those are the ones that actually eat up a lot of... Um, uh, code, like coding, you know, like the, the people that are code coding the game have to do a lot more work to make those outfits. So yeah, those can, yeah, sometimes be a little bit of trouble. Um, Jay says, Jay says, uh, the Proudhorn Cernok are now dropping the correct plushie, but you can still, but you can still get the order plushie from Zeki's Lucky Machine. So you mean the, the plushie that comes from the Proudhorn is not the same as the plushie that you get from Zeki, the order plushie? Oh, you mean it has like the colors, like the gray and the purple and, and, but they have also lowered the drop rate on the proud horn. Is that what I understand? Like you're not going to be able to get it very easily. I couldn't either. I couldn't get it either, but they were telling me that for, they, they thought it was that they had the drop rate um, too easy. I thought I was like, what? I said, are you crazy? I can't get one for anything. Okay. I got a fiddle frond flower from an inky dragonfly. Okay, so Elsa Okay, so Elsa for Frozen said the garden snail gave her a Veronica flower. And um, let's see. Yeah. Debbie Lynn wanted us to know that her name is Lenova in game. So if we see her because yeah, she's with us. Okay, so all right, Lenova, welcome, welcome. Okay, Elsa for Frozen is saying 250, 2500, 10,000 and 25,000. Is she talking about the drop rate? Oh, oh, wow. So it went from 250 to 2,500 for the next row. Oh, wow. And then 10,000 and then 25,000. So yeah, that's, um, that's a big jump there. But Garth says you have 40 spots when you're fully loaded. When you're... Okay, Prism, Prism Sophia says she got the sill plushie from the flotsam pile. That's the second person. Yeah, because I don't think there's one. I don't think I've gotten anything from a garden snail yet. But I know other people have. And I'm going to assume the spotted, let me see. Nope. And I'm assuming that the spotted stink bug is the same as it would be in Kilima. 
Okay, so Jay says that he posted the new bug flower seed infographic in Paleo chat on Discord. Well, well, Jay, you're going to have to like uh, post it in this chat. <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I could do that. Let's see. If I, if I don't mess everything up. Okay, so it says in Bahari... Um, the Bahari crab is the Baharasenia. Spine crab is bluebell. The uh, the red the red garden ladybug is forget me nots. The cerulean the cerulean cicada, which is the blue one on trees, is the cave cap flower, which is a yellow golden colored flower. The common bark cicada, also off of trees, darn it, that is the hematomes flower. The Bahari bee, also off of trees, is trillium flower. Darn it, we're going to have to cut down trees, ladies. Oh, uh, rats. The lunar berry moth is the datura flower. The paper lantern bug is the Bahari nettle flower. The inky dragonfly is fiddle frond flower. And the garden snail is the veronica flower. And they are tall like a Russian sage, only they're kind of a dark pink in the game. Um, the little white trillium flowers are coming from the Bahari ba bee. So yeah, the garden snail has those tall ones that are called Veronica flowers, but I like these, um, the Bahari nettle flower that are, they're like a fiddle. Um, they look like a fiddle curled up, but they're not the one that's called fiddle. They're called Bahari nettle flower, but they have like little fiddle heads on them. So yeah, they're all pretty. Um, the inky dragonfly says fiddle frond flower, but it doesn't have a fiddle head on that, on the picture anyway. So, okay. So we haven't done any red ladybugs for the forget-me-nuts. Yeah, I'll put a lore out. I'll put a lore out here, and then um, yeah, then at, at some point we'll probably have to do some tree bugs. Ugh. Now, are those are those going to be um, morning? Oh, it doesn't want to go in the water. I don't know if they're going to be in the morning, um, like they. Yeah, there's always a lot of garden snails down here when I'm trying to get a purple snail. That crab just walked over the top of my foot while I was trying to get a snail. Woo! Boy, they come out, don't they? They are crazy. Hey, quit running away, you purple ones. The purple ones seem to be determined to get away. Some of them are kind of, I got a Veronica flower off of somebody, something, but they're sinking into the sand. And then it's like I can't see them after they're uh, knocked out because they're sinking in the sand or something. Wow, I don't think I've ever had a snail take three bombs before. Man, where are they? Are they just coming up out of the sand and just appearing all around us? It's like there's a forest of bugs. It's actually a little bit alarming. <laughs> it's like they're crawling up my legs. I mean, gross, 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 gross. Ah, they like get off my feet. <laughs> Man, I've never done a bug lore down here, and this is really weird. Everybody that's watching, you should go do a bug lore at the crabs, because this is nutty. I got one thing, uh, one of the Bahara Sinia flowers off of them, but um, the snails keep going underground. Come back up and get yourself knocked out. Get on up here and take your medicine. <laughs> oh, come on. Ugh. I can tell already that I probably should have made a lot more than a few hundred bombs. You know, I probably should have made a thousand like you did. Although I didn't have enough fabric. Boy, they are a running. Cut that out. You're knocked out and you know it. Quit pretending you're all right. <laughs> That's what I was asking you guys earlier. Does it have to be daytime for all of those bees? Because I think it was the Bahari, the Bahari bee. And it was the cerulean cicada and the spitfire cicada, right? It was those three. And I think they're all on trees and they might all be daytime. I'm not, I can't swear, but they might all. Now, if, if we put out one of those bug lures, it won't lure them off a tree, will it? I don't think it does. Unfortunately, I don't think it does. Sure, I can. But um, there's been times when I think there's no bug on that tree. And then when I start cutting, sure enough, a darn bug will come off the darn tree. Yeah, the Bahari bee is hard to see at night. I know that's true. But um, that, I don't know, that cicada, there's one, there's one. Uh, it's right here. It's right here. Somebody hit it. I've got an ax in my hand. Ah, ah it's that way. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> okay. It's a Bahari bee. Oh, darn. We didn't. Oh, I didn't get a flower, but I got the bee. 
it takes me so long to change from my ex. Yeah, you used, used to, when we could have um, the next thing we wanted be in the middle of the circle, that was great because I could just put my bug bag in the middle of the circle, but now they don't let us use the middle of the circle anymore because they said it wouldn't work for switch people. Did I miss one? Uh, yeah, there's only a few that um, on this side that actually cut down. Some of them don't seem to fall. I'm just not going to pick it up. <laughs> sure. Yeah, your little pile. Yeah, your little pile of wood will disappear after a little bit. Uh, I'm cut. Oh, yeah, I think I've cut trees. Hey, something went, something went, something went. I don't know what it is, but I think I'm hitting a log. What is it? It's a Bahari. I got a trillium. Did you guys? Did you guys get a trillium flower? Hey, it's working. It's our, our evil plan is working. I knew it because I'm so used to chopping trees. I thought, well, if I just chop, surely they can see the bugs come off and fry them. And it's working so far. A while ago, one of them came off of us. They don't. Well, then I won't do them. I won't do a baby tree then if they're not gonna. Let's see, Matthew Andrews, welcome in, welcome in. Only a few give yarn. Oh, I wasn't looking. Shoot, I was, I was looking at the chat because uh, Matthew Andrews joined. Only a few give yarn, he said. Now wait a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was like, wait a minute. I think that's a different game with the yarn. Is it? <laughs> yarn. We'll have to, we'll have to knit our. <laughs> <laughs> and then crochet in our own sweaters or something. Oh, that big one always gives something. Darn it. I thought it was for sure. Well, and it seems like it's, that's okay. It, it seems like when we do get one of the bugs that it's been taking three or four hits to get it too. It hasn't been just dying in one hit. Here's one, here's one, here's one. Ah, hit it, hit it. You got it, we got it. Ah, didn't get a flower. That's a good plan. We're locked and loaded and ready to get these bugs. <laughs> oh, now Jay is asking if the guy meant silk when he said yarn. I assume he did. I just thought it was funny because they had a game that came out a few months ago on Switch or something. That was all, there it is, there's one, there's one. It was all about yarn. Oh my gosh, it's not dying. We got him. Come on, give us a flower. I got, I got a trillion flower. Yes, it is easy to do. Kids these days. Oh, here's one. He's trying to make his escape. All right. Oh, darn it. I was ready to sacrifice myself off this cliff just to get a flower and no, no flower. <laughs> I can't help it. How are you supposed to be a ninja if you're squishing? I'm not sure that's a, that's kind of a design flaw. It is hard to be a ninja and be stealthy if you're going squish, squish, squish every time you walk. But no, anyway, we like IPA. Um, it's a, a India Pale Ale, but we like the East Coast ones and they make them in Boston, like in Massachusetts. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. I'm turning. I had to get my bug thing out. Boy, he's not wanting to go down easy. There he went. Uh, stingy bee. Yep, we do. And I'm going to take it down with my bow and arrow, apparently. You do? You really do? <laughs> uh, but anyway, our favorite brewery in the whole United States is called Trillium. Well, I guess we like Treehouse, too, but you can't get Treehouse through the mail. And anyway, so the Trillium flower is their um, symbol at the Trillium Brewery in Massachusetts. And they make the best New England style IPA. It, it did used to be easy, but now it doesn't seem like you flaunt. Oh, there's one. You don't flaunt them, the, the trees as easily as we used to. I got two plant fiber. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> I got a trillium flower. <laughs> I don't know where I got two plant fiber, but somewhere, I guess I must have picked up the wood from the tree accidentally. Uh-oh, Debbie Lynn says, Squishy the Noisy Ninja. Sounds like a great children's book. <laughs> Squishy the Noisy Ninja. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> she paid for that outfit. Yep. I don't think this one. Oh, it does. 
Where? Where? It's right there. <laughs> I think. Did I hit it? Okay. All right. It's a Bahari bee. Darn, no flower. That one surprised me because that there was no bug on that tree at all. And it wasn't until the fourth hit with the axe that that thing came out. That's so crazy. What are they, up in the branches hiding? <laughs> oh, there it is again. I don't know where he went. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. I think I hit it. <laughs> I got a trillion flower. Okay, so Ravenfire is saying, and for everybody that can't hear her, um, she did put full-grown flowers in a chest today and got them back out successfully. So we can put full-grown flowers away now, and that's good news. Uh, I bet I am supposed to be watering those flowers. Oh, my goodness. This courtyard has, it has walls. That's okay. This The courtyard has walls all the way around. There's not a door to get into it. So I guess we, have, we, yeah, I just thought there'd be an outside door too, but I guess not. So maybe we can add a porch or a door to it or something. I don't know. So that we can come. Right. I had a small hallway section also, and I had to take it off, but it, it makes a little hallway here in my kitchen to get, yeah, it has a little small, but it's so, it's so funny that it, uh, and it has two sets of steps that go down to the grass, but it's so funny that it doesn't have any doors from the outside, I guess, I guess that's a, I told you, I told you, were you not listening? You probably couldn't, you probably couldn't hear me. I was telling you, it's got walls. It has walls all the way around. I can't get in unless I go in the house. Uh, maybe maybe you can change it and then change it back if you don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at the beautiful flowers. Okay, so can we figure out which ones are which? The little tiny white ones are trillium. I know that. These are trillium. And these green ones right here, this is what I would call a fiddlehead fern, but that's not what they called it. And the blue ones are the forget, are these the forget-me-nots? What are the big yellow ones? That's really cool. So everybody out there on the stream, you can see the flowers. So these white ones almost look like um, big daisy. Oh, I got the trillium where these, the trillium are the teeny, teeny, tiny ones of the trillium. I don't know what these big white ones with the yellow centers are. Oh, hematomes, okay, okay. Oh yeah, wow, wow, there's, uh, Oh, they're so, they're all really beautiful. Yay, it was so much fun. Thank you, ladies. So, so much fun. And I'm sure we are going to be gossiping on Discord about this for a week. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, Debbie wants to know if you can change the flooring. Have you tried to change the floor? See if you can change your flooring, because I'll just answer her question then if, uh, if it does work. But, right, yeah, our... Our crazy bags are full because we've been out doing crazy bug hunting. Let me see if this works. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. It sure did. It changed the floor all the way around the whole thing. One click, Debbie, and it changes your flooring all the way around. Yep, even in the little hallway. So it sure enough did. It changed it all the way around. Oh, that's a nice feature. That is a nice feature. That was a good question, Debbie, and now you've got an answer. Yay. So this was great fun, and I will see you all in the next one.